That is the hardware that they are fighting for today. That and a $50,000 check and a two-year exemption. Take a look at our lumber liquidators. Know the wood, the T of C oil pattern. 38 feet, 39 feet rather. 39 feet and on both sides of the lane, the players are just gonna play in the center part to find that oil. And there was no secret that this week, there was some friction to the outside part of the lane. The scores were very high. We had eight 300 games. How about Dave Husted, Hall of Famer Dave Husted, bowling 300 this week, the former three-time U.S. Open champion. Still to come, Rhino Page and Patrick Allen are two and one seeds respectively. They also bowled 300 games this week. Wes Malott, not to jinx him, is in the process of potentially bowling one as well. He is perfect through five. Malat looking for his first major title. Six in a row. He makes it look real easy, doesn't he? He's got a figure eight backswing that starts outside his body line and then tucks to the inside, a lot like the late great Don Johnson. And in my opinion, when I watch Wes Malat throw the bowling ball, it almost looks like he cannot pull it or tug it or miss target left. You watch all the modern day swings in today's game and they all look like the backswing is a little bit to the outside of the body. The streak ends at six. And a very makeable spare conversion for Malat here in the seventh. Good crowd, as always, here in Vegas. You know, Vegas, the most frequented city in PBA history. This is the 75th PBA show in Las Vegas. And Randy, you and I will actually be back here in Vegas in a couple weeks. Another show February 15th in downtown Vegas. For another major. And, and you know, that's a great break for Wes Malott because he avoids the open frame and maintains a 53-pin lead. And, Go. Right now, Mike Scroggins is in this must-strike situation where he, he knows in his mind to have any chance, he must strike out and hope for an opening from West Malott. Getting closer and closer to a semifinal matchup right now. Rhino Page, Wes Malott, and there will be some hard throwing balls. Look out. On the lanes if that takes place. Our thanks to Dennis Matthews, the director of bowling operations here at Red Rock Lanes. What a great guy Dennis is. He takes great care of the players and does just a phenomenal job here at Red Rock. Thank you, Dennis. Scroggins down 53 to open the eighth. Leaves the seventh. And while I have a moment, I'd like to give a shout out to exempt player Dino Castillo and his wife, Leanna. Friday morning, they welcomed baby Jonas into the world. Congratulations, guys. Mom and baby are both doing well, and I know Dino's at home right now watching the show and enjoying his new son. Is that their first? I believe second. it's their second. I know that they have at least one other. <laughs> I, I could be I wrong. Maybe there, three. I, I was told there'd be no baby math involved I'm sorry, in the show, I, Rob. I, I didn't get the stats on the amount of children in the Castillo household. Maybe our cat system can pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the score of other finishers this week. Here's Malat in the eight. That's his seventh jack of the afternoon. Or early morning here on the West Coast. Just cruising right now.
And again, Malat, the only righty on our show. We begin the foundation frame. Wait on it this time. Big Nasty up 54. The largest ATM machine ever. Wes Malat. Strike a lot, Malat, with eight strikes so far today. The best Scroggins can do is a 214. Well, it, it's another great week for Mike Scroggins. However, the ultimate goal is still left out there, and, and that's winning. You know, in, in Mike, will admit, you know, he struggles on television. And he's been trying to figure out, you know, a way around it. Is it a mental thing? Is, is it, you know, is it the, you know, the ball reaction? Is it uh, trying to fight the nerves? And, and I'll tell you, Rob, after a while, it starts to wear on you. You know, and it, and it, it gets in your, in your psyche, and it just, it just doesn't go away. Today, his 31st career TV singles appearance, five titles, one major. Got off to a good start in the beginning of the season, had five top ten finishes in our first eight events. It's number six on the average list, but you're right, just can't seem to get over that proverbial winning home. Oh. He just doesn't make enough sh shots on television. And Obviously, that's Hopefully certainly that's not the case during the week because you don't get to television. You don't get to the championship round throwing it all over the place. That open frame in the second really kind of set him back. He was able to recover with back-to-back -back strikes, and then three out of his next four frames were nine spares, and you're just not going to move on, particularly when you're taking on an opponent who is on, pardon the pun, the role that Wes Malat is right now. Strike number nine. Makes it look easy. Malat, your four seed, will move on to take on two seed, Rhino Page. Looks like he's taking out a New ball right now. Oh, absolutely. This is going to be a, an area check or a a tester, so to speak. He's going to try to test some, some different part of the lane. Yeah, he goes trip four, he changes to another ball, and one yeah, more strike, he goes to 278. Yeah, that, that smile, that smile tells you a lot. It's one of those, whatever's working, whatever I pick, I wherever I go one. is working. And yeah, let's try another one. Good game. <laughs> Brings the crowd to their feet with a 276, 203 victory. Ten strikes in that one to strike a lot in a lot. Including an opening six bagger. Well, up next, break out your monkey suit and your best party toast. Highlights from last evening's 50th anniversary gala and Hall of Fame induction when we return to Las Vegas.